Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, I'm going to be making 10 super easy Christmas ornaments using supplies from the dollar store. I got 10 of these plastic Christmas balls from Dollar Tree. They came in a set of two for $1.25 each. And then I got a series of other supplies from Dollar Tree and Dollarama to decorate the outside of the ornaments along with the inside of some of them. The only things I didn't get at the dollar store that I'm using today are some paint, but I got that at Michael's for only a few dollars on sale. Most of these ornaments I'm making today are super easy and only take a couple minutes each and they can all be totally customized to whatever your color scheme is for your Christmas tree. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love Christmas and DIY videos and I'd love if you would subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's get on to the video. For this ornament I will be creating a glitzy Christmas tree decoration with this clear plastic ornament from Dollar Tree along with this ribbon of sequins. I'm going to cut these so they're in smaller strands then glue them to the ornament. I'm putting a dot of hot glue right at the top and then attaching the top part of the sequins. Now that the top part of this strand of sequins is attached here, I'm going to wrap it around and then secure it to the very bottom and then keep going around back to the top. There's the first strand wrapped around the ornament. I'm cutting off another section of this sequin ribbon here. This time I left it so there are three sequins across on the strand. I want this strand of sequins to be in the middle of these other two. So I'll add a dollop of glue and then attach this like that. I'm adding a bit more to the very bottom to hold the strand in place. And finally, another dollop of glue at the top. I'm now cutting out some single strands. This time I'm cutting shorter strands because these ones are not going to wrap all the way around the ornament. I'll be using one of these clear plastic balls from Dollar Tree along with this gold tissue paper and this white tissue paper with lots of colored dots and I'll be making some confetti with the tissue paper and stuffing it inside the clear ball. To make the confetti I'm leaving the tissue paper folded up like this and I'm cutting thin strips out of the tissue paper. horizontally into these strands to make tiny little confetti pieces. They don't have to be the same size or anything, just completely random. Pushing that to the side for now, I'm going to make some confetti out of this tissue paper now. Taking a little bit of this fake snow as well, just to add a little bit of sparkle inside. For this ornament, I'm using another one of these clear plastic balls, and I'm going to fill it with this fake snow and these mini trees, both of which I got from Dollar Tree. Anyway, I tried getting this fake snow into the ornament, ended up making a huge mess, but this method of sort of scooping the ornament into the snow worked fairly well. Now it's time to put the tree inside. I probably would recommend doing this before putting all the snow in, but I didn't think of that. So we are going to attempt to get this straight up. I'm hot gluing the bottom here. I'm taking some tweezers and stuffing it in. Hot glue is probably dry by now, so... We'll see. And I'll press it in and see if it sticks. And that would be a no. I'm getting as much of the glitter out of the way from the bottom as possible. And then I'll glue the bottom here. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. 
Oh no. I think there's a little bit too much glitter in here. I uh, lost the tree. I'll dump some of this out and see what we can do. I mean, that looks cute. I broke off a couple little pieces from a craft stick and I'm going to glue them together and then glue them to the bottom of another little tree just to add a little bit more height to this one. So when I put it in here, it'll be a little more raised up. I'm moving all the glitter to one side as much as I can again, then gluing the bottom of this tree. You know what? That actually looks really cute. I really like that. I'll be filling a clear ornament with some Christmas ribbon. I have this white ribbon with red and white candy canes and this gold ribbon. I'm folding the ribbon accordion style so I can fit it inside the ornament. I'm using tweezers just to move the ribbon around a little bit. I'm putting another small piece of this candy cane ribbon inside. That came together so quickly and so easily and you could use any color ribbon you want to suit your theme for the tree or whatever colors you're going with. This ornament will be really fun and whimsical because I'll be filling it with all of these little pink and white pom-poms. You could choose whatever colors you wanted if you wanted to go with more traditional red and green or any color scheme that you wanted. I saw these pink ones and I had to have them. pom-poms in here and this is what it's looking like. For this ornament I have this strand of tinsel. I got it Dollarama for two dollars and I'm going to cut off a piece of this and put it inside. ornament I'll be covering it with some Epsom salts. I'll also be using some Mod Podge and this foam brush. The first step is to cover the whole ornament in Mod Podge. this dry. I put a skewer in this empty ketchup bottle and I'll rest the ornament right on top there. I let this set overnight just to make sure it was totally dry and all the little salt crystals were stuck to the ornament. Now I'm going to carefully brush off any that might be just sitting on top. I'll be filling it with more of this fake snow along with these little red berries. Thank you to the person who just commented on my dollar store pantry organization video saying I could have used a wax paper funnel to put the spices in. I wish I saw that before I put the glitter snow in my other ornament, but I just made a funnel out of parchment paper and I'm going to see if that works for getting the snow into the ornament. It 
wasn't coming out very well, so I made the hole a little bit bigger. these little berry picks inside of the ornament. I'm not going to try to glue these in, I'm just throwing them in and they'll land where they land. how long one of those stems is so I'm going in with some tweezers to get it out and then I'll just trim it a bit more. I have this red and white string that I'm cutting off a piece of and putting inside the ornament. ornament I'm going to attempt to do kind of a swirled effect with these three paints I have here. I have this pink one in the shade Carnation, this one in the shade Aged Bronze, and this plain glossy white one. I've seen lots of people say it helps the paint stick to the sides of the ornament if you clean it out with either rubbing alcohol or vinegar first. So that's what I did. I poured a little bit of vinegar inside of here and then swirled it all around and let it dry overnight. And now I'm going to squirt the paints inside and see if I can get a swirled effect. Since this jar of paint is much too large to pour into the ornament, I got this dropper from the drugstore for about $2, and I'm going to use this to suck up the paint and squirt it inside the ornament. resting it on either side for a couple minutes each. All of the blank spaces are filled in with paint. I have a skewer in an empty ketchup bottle here and I'm going to rest the ornament on top so the rest of the excess paint can drip out and it can dry. Christmas ornament DIY, I'm going to be using the paint again, but instead of using multiple colors, I'm going to cover the whole thing in one color. I'm using this aged bronze color again. I'll stick the dropper inside the paint and then suck some up and then squeeze it inside the ornament. I'm covering the top with a paper towel and now I'm going to shake it all around. I'll drop some more paint in here. Like I did with the other painted ornament, I'm going to rest it on one side for a bit so all the paint can drip over to this side and then after a few minutes I'll switch it over to this side.
thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these Christmas DIY ornaments. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And if you have any other Christmas related video requests or anything you'd like to see from me, then please do let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.